it's it's really a a situation we came into the game that we just felt like we wanted to put like a, a, a full game together and we got closer today um so that was our focus right we you know we'd be there in the last sort of few weeks it's either been kind of a roller coaster we play well in the first half and then we go on cruise control we don't play well in the first half and then we really turn it on the second half so the focus now is just like how do we get to the point of that it's consistent all the time and you know we work we it's the same story every game we're going to just try to get better what our core principles our philosophy is but we just want to get to a point where it is so impactful to the opponent that whatever game plan they had, it changes it. And then when they get a new game plan, they have to change it again. This is kind of how our, our focus is. Was there anything in training this week that, that made you feel like tonight would be different than, than the last couple of weeks? Yeah, I mean, the, the energy was good, right? We talked about that. We didn't feel like last week the energy and training was good. But some of that could have been to the crazy heat we had last, last week. So, um, but no excuses, right? Because we might get to the final and it could be the, in today's world, the way the heat is, you can have that. The, you know, you get to playoffs, it could be that situation, right? So, no excuses for us, but we felt like the energy was good, the focus was good. Um, we have a lot of leaders in the group, and I know they had some some conversations about things they wanted to work on without us, which is really good. So, those things are really important. It, it's important for us to, we'll see, right? Because you come off a game like this, are we going to be focused right away? Are we going to bring the same kind of energy? Are we going to raise the level? Are we going to get better? Then we'll know if they're focused. But it's, oh yeah, it was a good game. We won. And it takes a day or two to get involved, and we know we're not there yet. When I saw Marcus at Stumptown, and he hit the post against us uh, at Matthew Stadium, I knew I liked Marcus. And it took us a while to get him last year. You know, like everybody in this level, they have big aspirations. They want to try to go higher. But we're able to get him. And what I've always said about the football that we want to play, it might look great, it might look wonderful, but if, no, if there's no goal scorer, <laughs> it just looks good, right? The results don't come. Luis came to a trial in Stumptown. I watched him five minutes, and I said, I want the player. Tried to get in here last year with the Cal because he's literally grew up there. He, his club soccer is in the same area where Cal plays their games. And... We stayed in contact because he's, he's more than just like a player for me. He's like a, a son to me, and I, I have a lot of hope for him. And he's just doing what I know he can do. Uh, and I give him that, we try to give him that confidence, that freedom. So It means a lot. Uh, playing here for two years, you know, going on my, you know, my third season, it's, it's become sort of a, part of, a big part of my life and, and you know, my, my career. So... I'm really, really happy and really, really proud of, you know, to sort of be part of its history, you know, at least, at least for the time being. Uh, I think we played really well. Uh, I think the, I mean, I think the tie last time just t says more about that, you know, we didn't really play to our standards and today we sort of did. We, we showed up, we, we moved the ball well, we, we pressed well, we, you know, we, we played well as a team and and the chances came for you know for a bunch of our guys. I think it was their four different goal scorers, and I think our, our attacking play was just really fluent, and we I felt like we were dangerous uh, throughout the whole game. I mean, so, so much. I mean, every game I'm I'm getting double teamed every game, and and having guys around me that can also make plays uh, that require attention, just sort of you know when Jesus or Mumu sort of beats their guy, someone has to step, leaving me, you know, giving more space for me. So it's just. I'm very, I'm very, you know, very happy to have guys around me that that helps me and puts me in good spots. And I just, yeah, you know we got to not just the starters, but you know, come, guys coming off the bench as well. We have, we have a lot of talent, so mm -hmm. so it's just to, you know, enjoy to be a part of. It's not one that comes to mind. Just I love scoring goals. Everyone sort of means the same. Uh, and you know, as a striker, that's sort of what you, you know, where you're on field to do. So. I sort of value every goal the same, but I mean, the, the goal today meant a little bit extra, obviously, breaking that record, so so maybe I'll say that one, even though maybe it wasn't my nicest goal, but, you know, it's at least historically it was maybe meant the most. Oh, it feels great, and most importantly, to get the win and do the things that we've been talking about, you know, since we got here, uh, playing our, our way of football and 
everyone contributing from our goalie all the way to our forward and it was just a great collective win. It's one of those goals that you just you have to take it, you know. Uh, Momo made a great play on the wing and it landed my way and I kind of just hit it my, with my right foot. It's not my strongest foot, but um, just trying to make contact with it and kind of wish, wish for the best and it worked in our favor and sometimes you just have to take those goals and you know, just keep moving forward. Right. No, I mean a great, like I said, playing our way of football. Uh, Alex, great ball to, to Mataya. Mataya does his magic on the wing and I just have to be on, at the right place and he finds me. I'm able to open up my hips and you know, look for that bottom left corner and thankfully it worked our way. And yeah, all credit to my teammates. You know, he, he lives off goals and you gotta respect that. So congrats to Nags. He deserves everything that, that he has up until now. And it's our job to, to keep feeding our striker and you know, hopefully he gets many more. Like Coach said, we have to keep, you know, honing in on, on the little details. We can't get complacent because at the end of the day, the champions of this league is defined by one game. So every game we play is like is like a final to us. We we look very in detail to every little thing we do. So we just keep clocking in every day and we go one day at a time, one percent better each day.